Y'all, so I'm getting ready to make this green tea rinse. We have some organic green tea, a glass jar, an applicator jar, and I also have my coffee mug because I'm going to make myself some tea. Why not consume it, right? So I'm going to take one bag of the green tea, place one bag into my coffee mug, and one bag into the glass jar, pour some boiling hot water on top of it, and I'm going to allow that to seep for about five to eight minutes okay um, again you want to make sure that the tea that you use regardless of if it's green or black tea try to make sure that it's organic tea y'all I'm gonna also add some tea tree oil to my tea so here I'm just pouring it into the applicator jar I've allowed it to cool off some okay hey y'all so I am back here today to discuss hair shedding and what I plan on doing to help uh, reduce the shedding that I'm currently experiencing. So last month I noticed that my hair was shedding a lot more than what I am accustomed to. Not only that but when I am detangling my hair, when I am styling my hair or setting my hair in a style I should say, I'm getting a lot more hair coming out. I'm going to be including some clips in between this video of me setting my hair actually with this style and quite a bit of hair came out. Um, now this is the first time I've actually styled and used a comb on my hair in about a month. Um, so shedded hair is expected, but a, a little bit more than I'm, I'm used to. Let me see if I can gather it all. Yeah, girl, it's a small hamster. It's a small hamster. I have a lot of hair on me. Um, one thing I do want to stress is that if you feel like you possibly have some type of um, vitamin deficiencies, definitely make sure that you go to your doctor to check that. I'm one who uh, goes to the doctor quite often and I have labs checked. I just had labs done like two months ago. So I do have a vitamin D deficiency and I do take uh, vitamins for that. I take a number of different vitamins also. It's more than likely for me a combination of hormones and stress related. So I do have an appointment with my OBGYN to discuss some of the hormonal issues I've been experiencing honestly since the pandemic has hit. Um, but with that being said, I also want to ensure that I'm incorporating healthy hair practices to reduce the shedding in addition to seeking medical advice from my doctor. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there. Um, so y'all, as I stated, when I was washing my hair, I'm looking down at my hands. I'm like, girl, what, what's going on? And so I personally always knew that green tea, which I have here in the applicator jar, is great to help reduce shedding. So this is one thing I will be doing and I will be demonstrating that in this video. In addition to that, is upping my deep conditioning. Now, at this point, I was deep, deep conditioning every two weeks now it's going to be whenever i um wash my hair which is basically weekly i will be deep conditioning my hair plus it's getting a little cooler here in phoenix and so i want to ensure that i'm deep conditioning properly also upping my protein um i typically only do uh, i know this is kind of bad but for a while there i thought i was having well i was having protein overload so i reduced the amount of protein um, I was applying it, using for my hair but you have to understand protein serves as benefits I mean our hair is primarily protein so it's really good to ensure that you have that protein moisture balance so I will be going in between the Africa's best originals hair mayonnaise along with the ORS hair mayonnaise for protein treatments um, I do have a review on both of these separately and I have a comparison review on that okay so you want to make sure when you do a protein treatment that you follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner and for me personally I like to use the Queen Helen cholesterol and I add a bunch of oils and honey and it makes a great um, moisturizing deep conditioner a video on that too which I will be linking in the cards so for this particular video y'all you'll see me use the green tea rinse and then I'm just basically going to follow up with that with a deep conditioner. Now you won't see that you'll just see me apply the green tea rinse. Another great thing is BAM fenugreek. Now I've been using this off and on for a year but I'm just going to keep using it okay. Alright you guys so I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and then come back on cam to apply the rinse. I'm going to allow it to sit in my hair for about 15 minutes 
All right, you guys, so I'm getting ready to apply the green tea rinse. Now, as you see, I have my hair steamer here. Literally, once I jump into the shower, I'm going to take um, my protein deep conditioner, apply that, let it sit for about 30 to 40 minutes, but then with the moisturizing deep conditioner, again, this is the Queen Helen and the honey and the olive oil. I'm going to sit under the hair steamer. I will be linking in the cards separate videos on how I steam my hair and the recipe for this moisturizing deep conditioner. So anyway, girl, let's go ahead and apply this to my hair. Again, I have a little bit of tea tree oil in here. And by a little bit, I mean like 15 drops. feel that seep seeping all the way down so what I'm going to do y'all is to clip my hair up in certain areas and I'm going to put a bonnet on I can't find my jumbo plastic cap um, and I don't want to use cloth because that is drying into the hair on like satin so I have tons of these that I can use so and that is it, y'all. I'm just gonna leave this on, like I said, for 15 minutes or so. And just to show y'all, when I detangled my hair earlier, this is all I got. And typically, I would get <laughs> sometimes three times as much as that. So this is not a lot at all. And I use my wooden comb along with finger detangling to get my hair out. So, so again, only at this point, I've been doing this for about a month. I can see the benefits of using the green teen rinse. It has definitely minimized the amount of hair that is coming out. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all the new subscribers. Take care. Bye.